seducirme otra vez Besarme otra vez Volverme a poner El mundo al revés Pa' besarte como ayer Sentirte otra vez Hey guys and welcome to another video Today I'm doing my first update video in Spain And I'm super excited because I get to tell you guys a little bit about what's been going on for the past month and a half about. Today when I'm filming this video, I've been in Spain for a month and 10 days. So it's been quite a long time already and it's gone so fast. So I have a few things to talk about and obviously I'm going to show you if my Spanish has improved or not. So let's do this. First of all, I can let you know that it's freaking freezing in Spain. I'm wearing hoodies and jackets and stuff all the time because it's so cold <laughs> but when I got here it was actually pretty warm for a long time which I've been told isn't normal for Lake Madrid to be that hot but I really loved it um, so I wasn't complaining but now it's cold I got to Spain on the 4th of September and I spent a week in um, Barcelona with other exchange students which was super fun got to know so many new amazing people. I still talk to them every day. I love them so much. And it's really true that you become very close with the other exchange students. That was super fun. I loved hanging out with them. I had a few clips of that in my Hola España video. And then I also have a video with some of the girls. So yeah, that was a super fun week. Practiced my Spanish, <laughs> hung out with my new friends. And yeah, it was just a great week. Then I went to Madrid where I'm at now, met my host family, started in my new school, you know, everything was new. It was pretty crazy, it still is pretty crazy, but I'm getting used to it. My host family is a mom, a daughter, 14 years old, a dog, two host brothers older. I also have an Italian host sister, which I haven't told you guys yet because um, I didn't know that before I came here or I got to know like a few days before my organization asked me that is it okay if they would live another exchange student in my family and I said yes and I never thought that it would work out this well and we're like really close already. She doesn't speak English which is a good thing so we speak in Spanish all the time and we hang out so much. I'm so happy she's here. It's just great to have someone in the house who isn't a part of the family. It's just kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like we're in the same kind of situation. She does speak Spanish a lot better than me because she's Italian. Plus she studied it for three years. I only studied it for one year. Now we do speak a lot. Like the first few days we didn't speak very much. It was like, hi, how are you and stuff. But now we speak a lot. I think we are pretty similar. Okay, so my school here is very, very close to where I live. It's like literally outside of the door, almost. And everyone is really, really nice. Everyone is trying to get me to understand Spanish and helping me and stuff, which is really, really awesome. I don't know what I would do if people weren't like that. Everyone in my class is really nice. Also, the other classes, like the first day, everyone was like, hi, like, how are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> they all knew that I was a new exchange student girl, um, and I didn't know who they were. So yeah, it was a lot, a lot of new things the first few weeks, um, and I, there's still a lot of new things all the time. But I'm getting used to it. Now I kind of know who people are and, like, you know, what is normal and what isn't normal here. And the school otherwise, like, the teachers are great. In a lot of classes, I have my own assignments, like math. I don't understand anything in math. It's really bad. And then in English, it's way too easy for me, so I practice my Spanish during English. Oh, and in, like, Spanish class, I read a book in Spanish, so... But the Spanish school otherwise is really, really boring. It's a lot of just sitting and listening. You don't really do other than sit in the same chair the whole day. Which, where I come from, it's more like fun to go to school. The Spanish school system just isn't great and I knew that before I came here. Cause um, I know other exchange students who've been to Spain before and they all said that the Spanish school system isn't good and that they appreciated the Finnish school system. And I do miss my school back at home a lot now that I'm here. Cause the school just, mm -mm, no, I don't like it. But the important part is that people are nice. We only have one break a day. Like, otherwise we just, it changes, the teacher changes, we sit in the same chair and listen. But I'm not here to study, I'm not here to get good grades. I don't really have homework or tests or anything like that. Uh, I do a little bit, um, and some tests, like, 
when we have Spanish, I just have to like write a test about the, I mean, a text about the book I've been reading and stuff like that. So it's, it's a lot, you know, easier, but it's not easy because I'm not good at Spanish. <laughs> oh, also I have school in the afternoons. <sighs> Two times a week I have school in the afternoon from three to five. <laughs> Love it. The first month I was tired all the time, like all the time. I would come home and sleep. Actually, I'm gonna sleep soon as well. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It wasn't only the first month. But yeah, like the first month was actually crazy. I came home, slept like every day. I was so tired. But now it's a little bit better, but I'm still tired a lot. Cause you know, you gotta think a lot when everything, everything is so new. There's so many new things all the time. Plus a new language, you don't understand anything, you have to concentrate so much. So it's just kind of overwhelming and you get really tired. Oh, another thing about the school is that there's music every day after, I mean, after the first lesson. I think in some schools there are after every single class, but in my school it's only after the first one and that's like the highlight of the day, <laughs> to be honest. There's been Justin and Shawn Mendes and just all these great tunes. And it's just great because like after like history or something boring like that, it's just like, ah, oh, play that Justin. By the way. If any of you guys are Spanish or just wondering in general, I study in Primero de Bachillerato, which is the first year of like high school here, um, even though I should be in the second year, but since I don't speak Spanish, I'm in the first year. When it comes to homesickness, I feel like the first month, now I feel like it's a lot better. The first month was pretty hard. Um, not hard like that, not like I would cry every day. I would actually, but that was, <laughs> but that was because I was overthinking. A lot of things, I'll get to that in a minute, but when it comes to homesickness, um, I wouldn't like cry because I was missing my family, because mostly I miss my family and my house, that's like the main thing, sorry friends, but like literally, it's like my family and my house, I don't know why. I always thought like I wouldn't be able to like FaceTime my family or talk to them whenever I would feel homesick, but I do, I text with them every single day, and I FaceTime at least once a week with my family, which is a lot and that's perfect for me I love keeping up to date with date with them like one time I got to know that my brother got braces on his lower teeth and that was new and then also that he quit like one of his hobbies or whatever so it's like these small things so like if I don't get to know them now it's like it's all gonna pile up even though it's just like small things but you know what I mean so I'd rather talk to my family a lot and let them you know keep like just keep in touch um, about once a week and like text them every single day. I don't know. I just that works for me. <laughs> I'm with the overthinking. Um, yeah, I overthink a lot, which is I think it's pretty normal in life in general and especially on exchange. I do it at home a lot too, but here a lot more than I do at home because everything is new. I don't have anyone like at home if something is really hard or something I talk to my family or my friends. But here it's kind of like, who should I talk to? I don't know how to speak in Spanish. For example, I had to take the metro for the first time alone here. I was crying before that because I was so nervous. Um, like one day I had to go on this excursion with school and I was crying before that too because I didn't know where my class was going to be. Like these stupid things, they're stupid things, but I overthink. But I also think that's gotten a little bit better. Like the first month, about the first month, I was really nervous every single day to go to school stupid things but then when I got to school um, when the first person said hi to me I was like alright it's all good it's all good <sighs> yeah it's stupid but that's the way my brain works I didn't say but I love my host family we really click very well together and you know I know that every day when I get back home they're gonna be home they're actually not home when I get home because I'm the first one to get home so I just always know that you know they're there which is really awesome and oh Spanish let me speak some Spanish. Mi español es muy, muy, muy mal, pero aprendo poco a poco y aprendo nuevas palabras um, cada día. Y uh, me gusta mucho mi familia aquí y mi colegio también, o me gusta la gente en el colegio y me gusta España también. Um, y tengo un hermana italiana también y muy cerca de aquí vive un finland finlandesa también se llama Katri y yo Katri y mi hermana italiana Simona um, hacemos muchas cosas juntos y juntas en el cole no entiendo mucho pero creo en 
tres meses, entiendo un poco más. I really don't know what to say, but I just said that there's another Finnish girl leaving here, close as well, and also that I don't understand very much at the school. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I was all over the place, but thank you so much for watching and like this video if you enjoyed it and please ask me any questions if you have any about exchange or anything um i'll be happy to answer and i hope everyone back at home is doing really well i'm sending all you guys love and i miss y'all and i will see you in my next video bye guys